Hello everybody, happy Saturday morning makes. I'm so happy you're joining me today uh, to share some creative time. Uh, to everyone out there that's posting this weekend, thank you for making Saturday morning makes part of your weekend and your week. Um, again, Saturday morning makes you can upload anytime. It doesn't have to be on Saturday. Um, but for those of us that can do it on Saturday, we normally um, try to upload Friday nights or Saturday mornings so that we can all jump around and spend a couple hours enjoying everybody's art um, together. So uh, I just so appreciate everyone that's part of this community. Um, I want to welcome Marla. I think it's Marla who is new. Um, and I did share her channel in my community tab. So be sure to always go to my community tab. Um, I do share uh, videos there, things that I think you'll not want to miss, um, as well as new channels. And her channel name is Marla's Crafty. So I want to welcome Marla. Um, uh, lots of butterfly projects from the Two Crafters One Design hashtag Veronica V. Ballen. Um, be sure to check out her butterfly projects. Um, and Lisa, who is, um, you see why I'm a diva. I loved what she did. She made a really neat teacher's card. So if you didn't get to see it, go see it. And Melissa made a beautiful card. So many people uploaded that hashtag. So it's another wonderful hashtag to check out for wonderful art. And there's always a theme. Um, I'm not sure what the theme is for this week yet, but I'll try and put it in the drop down menu as soon as I um, am aware of it and can update. Okay. Um, this week, I also enjoyed watching a video from Vicki, who is TryHeart67, and uh, she did these torn prim heart tags, among other things that she shared in her video. Um, and if you don't know who Vicki is and you don't follow TryHeart67, go follow her. She is an incredible artist. Um, there's Everybody has beautiful art inside them. Um, and Vicky's someone who I've been following since I started on YouTube. And uh, I just love her shares. And she's just the sweetest lady. And uh, she also does a beautiful share about making Japanese-themed cards um, or Japanese-inspired cards. And she shares quite a bit about that on a recent video, um, revisiting something that she had shared in the past. So you'll love her channel. Um, and Andrea Marshall made some cute spatula ornaments using the Jingle All the Way set from uh, My Creative Time. Um, Nancy, who's the Handy Scandy, she shared wonderful Halloween inspiration, lots of wonderful prod products from Whimsy, as well as stuff from uh, Impression Obsession recently. Um, I want to thank everybody over on Instagram, my friends Patty and Sue Crozier, everybody that comments so faithfully. Hello to Ginger and Rhonda and Mindy and uh, uh, Kelly, and there's just so many of you over there, Kim, um, and I wish I could name everybody, but to everybody on Instagram, I love seeing your art. Don't forget to look for shorts also with the same hashtag, you guys. There's so much inspiration. Uh, so I just wanted to mention all them. Martha also did a really, um, Martha did, um, some ATCs and cards that were gorgeous. Miss Seashells did, um, tea themed using the Adornit products. So those are wonderful too. So, and then I wanted to welcome Mindy Langevin to YouTube. Mindy, who does all the fun crochet projects, um, cute turtles and all these different things. Mindy started a YouTube channel. So I shared her channel in my community tab and I hope you guys will give her a huge YouTube welcome. You already have, I know that, but um, I hope that uh, everybody that hasn't been to our channel yet will go and visit her, okay? Um, and again, just go to my community tab and um, you can find all the shares that I did, all the different videos that I'm talking about today. And I try to share different people each week um, as much as I can. I, I, you know, I need to try to start doing that on Instagram too. I think there is a way to share stuff on Instagram. So maybe I can try and do that this week. We'll see. But um, I just so appreciate every one of you. So let's dive into my projects. Um, so this week, I, I've been working with some digitals and stuff that I had printed out earlier. Um, I used one of these LOTV large Christmas sentiments. And uh, I, I have the digitals because I'm a designer, but these are actually available in photopolymer um, in their normal sized photopolymer sets, the A5. And uh, uh, so be sure to go check out LOTV because they have so many cute sets right now. Um, and I used uh, Winter Wishes on one of my cards, but I love these um, these large Christmas words that you can color in with your Copic markers or even paper piece if you want. Um, 
And then there's penguins and reindeer. There's the LOTV snowman. There's there's some Halloween ones, creepy but cute. There's festive mice and bears. So, so many cute sets. And uh, they have some new sets out also, which I haven't shown you yet. And I'm hoping to do a release video for them very soon, okay? The other thing that I worked with a little bit um, are, is this stamp from Peachy Keen. Hello to Kathy and Dave Jakopovich. Kathy is very busy getting ready for some winter and fall releases. Um, so I'm very excited uh, for that coming up. We talked quite a bit on the phone this week. So uh, she is working very, very busily behind the scenes. They had a couple production things that have happened that have delayed things. So, but it's coming. So just be patient. And uh, I did use this adorable hat um, with the snowman in it to make a card. And uh, I have, I just was printing off. This one didn't print quite, quite right um, because I, I had it on, uh, I had my setting wrong when I printed this one. But anyway, um, these images are all so cute. You can see that the ear got a little bit cut off, but honestly, I can just fix that with a black marker. So I'll probably color it anyway and just fix it with one of my line art pens. So, um, but look at how cute all these images are. That one's the same. Um, look at this one, waddling by to say hi. Oh my gosh. See, and I need to fix this one too, because I cut it off when I printed it out. Um, but anyway, these are all just um, different ones that I had printed out. Peachy Keen always has wonderful things available in their store, so go check them out. I'll put links down below. Um, these are the products that I use to make what I'm going to show you today. I use this adorable mushroom die, 944-C. This is an Anna White design from Impression Obsession. I also used her um, pinked stitched sentiment banners. It's die 814-U. Um, from Concord and Ninth, I used this die. This was a clearance die in their clearance section for a buck or something. And uh, I bought it for this little frame. And in this uh, set of dies, there's a bunch of little animal heads. And I know I can use my Peachy Keen stamps with these. So, um, And I wanted these little pair of antlers for a project that I'm hoping to share before Christmas um, comes. So anyway, but I, I used this little square frame set. And it's a really neat die. I love it. Um, and then this Whittle Birds die, the entire line of Whittle um, dies from Poppy Stamps is one of my favorite sets of dies. Um, there's a whole line of different animals. And this one is uh, style 2190. And uh, these are at Poppy Stamps Incorporated. Okay. And they do have their own website um, at poppystamps.com. Um, but they're also available at most of the big box, uh, not big box stores, but the online websites like Simon Says Stamp carries them for sure. Uh, here is this stamp set again from Sam Pool at Creative Ex Expressions, and I use this stamp, and uh, I've shown that set to you before. I used some of these 5 by 7 cards. Um, I used one of these. These are uh, ones that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby last year. Um, I used uh, some more paper out of this Cartabella 6x6 Mega Farmhouse Summer Paper Pad. It's 48 double-sided sheets of 65-pound heavy cardstock. And uh, these, this paper pad is one of my favorites. And um, I got it at the Echo Park um, discount uh, warehouse store online. Just type in Echo Park uh I think it's Echo Park Warehouse. I forget what it is. If I can remember what it is, I'll put it down below. Um, but you should be able to find it if you search for it. And uh, that is where I got this. But it's also still available in the stores. Um, it's a wonderful paper pad. And the one that I use, just so you know, is this one here. So, And then the other thing, um, oh, before I forget, I want to mention that um, Arala Miha Shop gave me a code for September. It's Jill Sep 15 for 15% off full priced items in her store. Okay, and I made this little tag um, that has the word joy on it. And it's a, a little heart die cut from one of her printables and then uh, the word joy. So I just popped that up on Pop Dots and it's just a sweet little simple tag. So um, I just wanted to have something to show you uh, when I show you the code. So just a reminder that this is going on throughout the whole month of September. And, uh, and then the last thing, the, the last products that I used are the brand new um, uh, Adorn It and uh, Diana Markham Recipe Stamp Club offerings. And uh, this month's offerings include this mushroom soup stamp. And I've already stamped mine, so it's not perfectly lined up on the carrier sheet anymore. But um, I love this image. And then there's these three little mushrooms, a little ladybug, and a butterfly at the bottom here. And then the other set, um, 
the add-on has, um, let me turn it this way really quick. So it has these beautiful mushrooms and these are the red mushrooms that uh, grow out here in the Pacific Northwest in the fall. Um, I love going, there's a park where I go and walk and there's always these beautiful red mushrooms underneath the pine trees and near the pine trees. And I always go and take pictures of them. So I love this set. It's so much fun to, see, to have these to color and play with. Um, and so there's just different images of mushrooms. There's a little mushroom here that I use to create a background. There's a little snail. I use, I cut that out and popped it up on my card. And then there's two different sentiments. Nature doesn't hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Isn't that the truth? Oh my goodness. And then the other one is this one that says, thank you so much. And I use this one on my card, inside my card actually. So those are the Recipe Stamp Club offerings. And, um, and then these are the papers, and I'll show you the papers. Um, there's eight pages total, and you have the, the striped offering that has all the different patterns. Um, and this is a really easy to, way to make a quick card. You just cut a strip of this paper in a rectangle and uh, add it to a card base and then put your focal point on. And uh, so this is a really neat paper to have for a quick card. And uh, I love um, the gingham, the green gingham. Then the next two papers um, is a red polka dot and this beautiful, um, look at this little house. It's a little mushroom house. And, uh, and it has little flowers dangling over the top and then all the different mushroom scenes on here are so pretty. So those two go wonderfully together and will make a really cute card. I love the mushrooms, the red mushrooms. This is the paper that I used. It's this beautiful stripe. And on the opposite side is this beautiful pink pattern with all the different icons in it. So just gorgeous. So that's the one that I used. Um, and so you have the stripe on one side and the pink on the other. And then the last page is this little um, mushroom icon with the, the little ladybug and the snail and the butterfly in it. And then on the opposite side is this beautiful turquoise, um, sort of a, a, a linen textured print. So, and that's one of my favorite prints every month. I love that. So those are the papers. And let's go ahead and I'll show you the card, um, the cards that I made today, okay? So this is the mushroom card, the mushroom soup card. And uh, you can see where I stamped the, the little mushroom in the background of the card. And I also used that um, stamp from uh, Sam Poole in the background here. Um, I was watching uh, some videos on watercoloring today, so I decided to watercolor. The method of watercoloring that I used was my watercolor pencils and a small, you just get a really small um, paintbrush. You know, this isn't the one that I used. I used a very narrow tip, like a number one, I think it is. Uh, one or a three, I forget. But um, you use just a very fine tip brush and you just um, dip your brush in the water, smooth off the water so it's not very damp, and then uh, take your brush to the tip of your pencil and then bring it to your card. And so that is how I did the water coloring for this using watercolor pencils um, that are actually from Prima, but I also have a set that I um, have in the same container from Adornit. And uh, I, I used, I think, a few of the Adornit ones, but mostly Prima, um, just because they're the ones that I'm used to using. Um, and I <clears throat> but any watercolor pencils will work for that method. Um, and I love doing this particular method for watercoloring. It's a lot of fun and it's, it's very quick and easy. It's actually, I find it faster than coloring with Copics. So I'm curious if you guys feel the same way when you do watercoloring. Um, so that is how I did um, the image here. You can see where I added the two little mushrooms from that mushroom die set from Impression Obsession. This is what they look like once you die cut them and glue them together. And then here's the little snail and I made a little trail for the snail. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but, but I used an at you spica pen um, to make uh, some a glitter trail. And then I put a, some little dots with a Statler um, fine point marker um, over the top. And uh, that just turned out really cute to have the little trail of the snail as it's heading towards the mushrooms. So that is how this card looks. And then um, I did tear the edge on my watercolor paper. Um, and this is just watercolor paper from the big box store um, in a pad. And it's actually one that I had drawn some things on the other side of it. And uh, I wanted to use it um, 
they were some drawings that I didn't want anymore, so I'm using the back side of it to create cards with. And uh, I did tear a strip of this. This was inspired um, by a card that I saw Anna do um, while I was watching her channel um, while I was creating, because a lot of times I play videos from all of you while I'm making things. So I was watching one of Anna's, and uh, I was inspired by her to, to um, tear my paper like that. So I also tore the inside and I did this little thank you so much sentiment. I did watercolor it also and add some uh, tea dye ink to it. Um, and I did round my corners um, of the card and the panels. And I did also use my tracing wheel just to add some detail. So also always inspired by Anna. I've been following Anna since way back when, many, many years ago. And uh, she's a sweet friend and inspires all of us, I think, with her beautiful artistry. Um, similar to Diana Markham, they they make beautiful art, they share beautiful art, and it's uh, just a joy. So uh, if you don't follow Anna White, be sure to go take a look at her channel. And uh, I just had so much fun doing this card. And here is the back with that cute little frame piece from Concord and Ninth, and I just stamped one of the mushroom images on it and then colored it with my watercolor pencils once again, painted it, if you will. Um, so that is this card. And then I have one other card to share, and it is the one that I made with this beautiful Peachy Keen snowman hat image. And this image just makes me smile. Kathy Jokopovich just makes the cutest little images. And uh, I just think this one is adorable. She has so many fun things in her shop. So be sure to go over to Peachy Keen uh, Stamps and check them out if you're not familiar with them. Uh, Kathy is a world-renowned artist um, that has been making face stamps for many, many years. Uh, many people have used her faces on many different products over the years. And uh, she just is someone who I greatly admire because her, her images always make me kind of smile. <laughs> or giggle, or laugh out loud sometimes. She has a, a really fun sense of humor, and uh, I think it comes across in this cute image. So this is just a little snow many thanks card with this paper on here, and uh, I just added a little piece of the paper to the inside with a die cut that I already had in my scrap bin. And then on the back, you can see this LOTV Winter Wishes, which is made with one of their new stamp sets, and I just created a piece of ephemera, and then I added the little bird from the Whittle Birds. So that's everything I have to share. Oh, I have one other little thing. I did use the Stampin' Up! Gingerbread Punch and some more Peachy Keen Faces from my Jill's Favorites, um, PK3000, to make some more little gingers just to, as I get ready to continue making Christmas tags. Um, so I did make a handful of gingers for Saturday morning makes also. And uh, I wanted to say too that all of you that... Um, uh, talk to me about how to finish off this card. Many of you said I should just leave it. I did end up putting three little peppermints on the card, and I also added a peppermint to each one of the stockings. So that is how I finished them off um, in the end. I think I could have just left it, but I kind of like it with the peppermints. I think it's kind of fun. So um, this was, of course, last week's Saturday Morning Makes. And again, that beautiful paper, this beautiful striped paper, this gingerbread paper, our new offerings at Irala Miha Shop. So, and of course, this stocking die is one of my favorites, and this is also from Anna White, and it's die 901P at impressionobsession.com. So that is everything for this episode of Saturday Morning Makes. Um, I hope that you guys all have a wonderful weekend. I send my love out to Kevin and Annette, to Susan and her family, Anna, Rhonda, um, my friend Elise, who hasn't been making videos lately as much, but she did share some of her journal. Rhonda made a beautiful Halloween journal that she shared, so be sure to go over and check out her channel. And uh, hello to both of them. Um, to all of you out there that whose channels I haven't made it to, um, I just cannot watch everything every weekend. I wish I could, um, but I eventually try to get around to everything. But if I ever miss something that you want me to see, please leave me a comment. I try to visit every channel that comments on my Saturday Morning Makes videos. I try to always go look at your channel. Um, I try to go to your Instagram feed if that's where you're posting. Sometimes I can't find you, so 
make sure you let me know where you're posting if I haven't been to your channel before or your, or where you're posting. So, um, I, so that I can find you and, uh, I just welcome everybody to join in Saturday morning makes. And I want to thank, um, Melissa and Lisa and everybody that does two crafters, one design Gloria, but everybody that participates in both, um, both of these hashtags plus washi tape Wednesday and all the different hashtags that are out there. And I also wanted to mention, I forgot to look up her name. I can't remember her name right now, but there's also a shorts Sunday hashtag um, where she's trying to get people to do shorts. So um, you might want to check that out too. There's lots of little um, shorts out there with wonderful inspiration too. So I hope everybody has a lovely weekend. My friend Jen over at Strawberry Cream 39 did some wonderful releases for um, Scrap Diva 29 and uh, Scrap Diva Designs uh, as well as... Um, KS Craft. So lots of fun things coming out with them. And I just want you guys to just enjoy all the art this weekend and take time to just feed your soul. All right. Thanks for making Saturday Morning Makes part of your weekend. Bye now.